begin this morning with the president pouncing on the media. President Trump tweeting out this video over the weekend showing him in an old WWE clip. But in this version, you can see he is body slamming CNN. ABC's David Curley at the White House with much more on that. Good morning, David. Morning, Amy. This morning, the president is being roundly criticized in a bipartisan matter for that tweet and the video, amping up his battle with the media. And all this going on as his Republican colleagues are trying to change health care and sell it back home. The official presidential tweet is an old wrestling video takedown with businessman Trump, doctored with the CNN logo covering the face of his victim. One face of the media pummeled in the world of fake wrestling. Outrage even from Republicans immediately. The president of the United States is inciting violence against the free press. But the president defended by his Homeland Security advisor, who saw this for the first time on this week. You're, you're in charge of Homeland Security there. Yep. That seems like a threat. Yeah, certainly not, though. I think that no one would perceive that as a threat. I hope they don't. Elected Republicans quickly denouncing the president's attack on journalists and the First Amendment. This is the 4th of July weekend. The Declaration of Independence is pretty dang clear about this. It's ridiculous, right? Everybody's kind of flabbergasted. And, you know, he had to stop doing it. But hours earlier, Mr. Trump, marking his first 4th of July as president, escalated his war of words about those who write about him. The fake media tried to stop us from going to the White House. But I'm president and they're not. The president in another tweet calling his comments modern day presidential. This just the latest. Days ago, calling cable news host Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski crazy and dumb as a rock. He has once again shown the world that he can be played. Yeah. He can be tweaked. CNN, the subject of the altered video, said in a statement the president is involved in, quote, juvenile behavior far below the dignity of his office. The president remains in New Jersey this morning. He returns here to the White House this afternoon. He has not tweeted this morning. And Dan, as we mentioned earlier, very big week. The president to travel to that big meeting to meet with Vladimir Putin. So many people are going to be watching that very closely. David Curley at the White House, thank you very much.